What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drafting view. Okay, so drafting view. So basically, you create this when you want to show details in a view that are not directly associated with the building model. So we create a drafting view. So unlike this detail view that we have created, so this... Um, elements are actually associated with the 3D model. So any changes that we made in our 3D model, it will affect our uh, model here, this uh, detailed view that we have created. Now, we use the drafting view to create an associated view-specific details that are not part of the model design or the 3D model. So basically, you create a 2D drawing, okay? view specific elements in our drafting view okay so let's get this thing started so as you can see here uh, there's already a drafting view created here which is this one okay but if you want to create your drafting view all you have to do is to go to the view and then after that just select here uh, drafting view just click that and then you can now specify the name here and then you can put here the scale. That's it, okay? So once you create that, you select OK. So you will now be able to see your drafting view here. So it's under the drafting views detail. So this is the one that you have created. And this is a 2D environment. All right? So this is not 3D. All right, but since we already created our drafting view, let me just delete this drafting one. Okay, so let's get started so i'm gonna open the call out of detail at parapet now instead of uh creating our detail view a uh, here in revit so if you already have a cad file drawing detail so instead of creating the drafting view uh, details in revit so you can just use those cad file so you have two options so if you go to the insert tab you have an option here to import that cad file or to link that cad file okay so what this imports so it imports a data or a 3d geometry from other cad programs to a revit model or family so once you import your cad drawing inside the revit so basically you are just inserting a block in revit and then you can modify that you can change the line type the thickness of the lines and you can also explode it if you want to further modify the model so that's how import cad works but i'm not a fan of import cad because if you want to modify the detail view so you need to explode it and if you're going to explode the cad file it will clutter your your model so sometimes it will mix or most of the time it will make the file size of your rabbit model uh, big okay so instead I just use a link CAD here so if I want to edit the detail view of the link CAD so I just need to open the original CAD file it's like an xref when you put it in Revit so you just need to open the CAD drawing and then modify that save it and then reload it again here in Revit so that's why I'm gonna use your link CAD because I already have the details created in AutoCAD okay so I'm gonna select link CAD and then let's say I'm gonna use roofing detail and then this is the link CAD formats dialog box and then for this one I'll just make it black and white positioning uh, auto origin to internal origin i'll import or link all the layers the units are auto detect so i'll just select this one and then i'll just select your open and then i'll just right click and then uh, zoom to fit there you go so it's really fast if you already have created that detail in cad so all you have to do is to either import it or link that just like what i just did now, let's say, for example, I want to change the, the thickness of some of the lines here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. Okay, so you can go to properties and then you can look for visibility graphics overrides. Just select edit or the shortcut is VG. 
Victory Gold or VV. Victor, Victor. So that's the shortcut. So I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. And then you go to the imported categories and then you will now see here the CAD. So let's say, for example, I want to override the thickness of the medium line. So I'm going to select this. I'll change the line weight here for the line weight. So I'm going to override that to 3. And then let's say I want to change the color. I'm going to make that blue to just kind of uh, play it around. So I'll just select OK. And then let's say the wide. I'm going to make this 5. And then color, so let's say red. You can even change here the line pattern if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just select OK, and then I'll select here OK. And there you go. Okay, now, so it's kind of uh, uh, very thick, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the scale here. So to do that, let me just click from here, click that. And then let's say I'll just use 3 inch to 1 foot. Click. And there you go. Okay. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is, uh, if you want to rename your your uh, drafting view, you go, just go to the drafting view, just right click that. And then uh, you can rename here. So let's say, for example, I'm going to call that roof termination uh, detail. Okay, and then enter. Okay, now for the last part of the exercise, I'm going to insert um, this detail view, this drafting view in my sheet. So I'll look for the sheet A2 sections. Just double click that. And then, okay, so I'll just put it somewhere here. I'll just drag and drop this drafting view. So just drag and drop here. There you go. And click to place it. And that's it. And then select here, modify. All right. So that's now my uh, drafting view inserted in my sheet. Okay. So that's it. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.